Welcome, welcome, welcome to this video. This time I want to go over one of the uh, cool options that we have with Meraki splash page or uh, captive portal options and that is the authentication using SMS. As you can see here, I have my um, SSIDs. As you can see, when it is bolded, it means that it is enabled. If it is kind of grayed out, it means that it's disabled. And you can also see it right here. We don't have to be a rocket scientist to, to, to notice this. So um, I'm going to be working with this. We're going to configure this from scratch. So I'm going to click on Edit Settings. And that's going to bring me over to the uh, configuration section of the SSID. And the SSID name is whatever you want to use as the name, right? In this case, I can use SMS uh, off, but you could name it whatever you want. Obviously, you want to use a name that is going to be uh, relevant to your organization. So I'm just using SMS off um, as an example and uh, as a reminder for me that I'm going to be using this for SMS authentication. Uh, one of the things that I always do when I'm working on SSIDs, I never enable it until I'm done with the configuration. Uh, if you click on an enable right now, and then obviously you save the settings, and you work on that SSID, users are going to see it. They might be able to connect depending on the settings that you're doing. So it is a best practice to leave it disabled until, until you're done and then you enable it uh, for testing and to put it in production. So uh, then we're going to come here. Since we want to use splash page to um, show users uh, a message before they connect and it, it could be more than a message you could actually uh, upload your logo and customize your brand, the, the splash page with the colors of your brand. And I'm going to show you the main settings of that. Uh, in this case, we're not going to be using password authentication. So we're going to leave it as open, no encryption, which means that anybody could connect to it. Now, anybody could connect, but not everybody's going to have access. Do you want to have some type of... Um, uh, how do you call that? Some type of um, authentication mechanisms, right? Even if it's open. And that's what you're going to accomplish with the splash page, as you can see. If you scroll down to the splash page section, there is an option that says sign on with SMS authentication. Now, Cisco Meraki allows you to use up to 25 free SMS text for this configuration and if you want to go beyond that and actually to be honest with you 25 is enough for testing uh, but if this is something that you want to put in production then you have to create an account with Twilio and then configure those settings in your dashboard and by those settings I'm referring to the Twilio account that you are going to have. So it's pretty simple. So if you click on network settings and you go to new tab uh, and you scroll down, there is a Twilio section right here uh, where you have to enter the username and password. So here it is. So um, I have not created the free account, but you can actually create a, I believe they call it a demo or a free account that you can use and they give you some credits uh, for testing purposes. But anyway, so if you are going to implement this in production, this is where you would type in your uh, seed and all authentication token for Twilio. So, but we're not going to be using that. We're going to be using the 25 SMS authentication uh, text that we get from Cisco Meraki. So once you do that, you're going to click on save. As you could see, there's no more options in here. Uh, I mean, there are some options that you would like to pay attention to, whether you want to block all access until users 
successfully login this is the default options highly recommended or if you want to allow non http traffic prior to sign in and this is something that you may want to uh, have a need for that so it's up to you to decide something else that i want to mention to you right here is that whatever ssid you're going to be enabling this splash page on make sure that the devices that are connecting to the ssids are capable of authenticating in whichever way you are configuring in this case with um, sms um, this is useful for regular laptops computers and phone devices but if you have any type of equipment that connects to the network you don't want to have that equipment connecting to these ssids because it's not going to be able to provide the authentication once it connects to the network so we're going to save this and we're going to move on because i spent too much time talking on that so what we're going to do now uh, now that you configure the access control for the ssid you have to configure the access the, the splash page so you would go to wireless splash page and as you can see on the splash page section you have the option of selecting the ssids that you want to be working on make sure that you select the proper ssid that you want to connect to and as you can see you can customize the colors right here how's it going to look like so on and so forth and you can type your message uh, and this is the message that the users are going to see. Welcome. Uh, this network is, is being monitored or whatever message you want to type. Obviously, I'm just joking about this, but usually when you're going to have a message displayed prior to users logging in, depending on the organization that you are working for, or the configuration that you're doing, you may want to check with your legal department to make sure that what you're typing is um, in compliance with the local laws and, and all that. So, uh, but you could say a nice, you know, welcome to my networking here. Then you have another option, which is like, do you want your users to consent prior to logging uh, being authenticated and logging into the network um, if you do enable this you're going to have to uh, type in a consent message and this is just uh, users acknowledging whatever message you typed in before so usually organizations put a uh, kind of a legalish message in the welcome message right here and on the consent they put a message saying you know what by clicking here you consent that you agree with your with our terms so it's up to you to uh, decide whatever you want uh, to put in here just for testing purposes I'm gonna type uh, this is the consent and then you can also upload your organization logo in here and then one of the interesting settings that you have is how often do you want the user to re-authenticate uh, to the network via the splash page so do you want to do it daily two days three days a week every 90 days so on and so forth as you can see, this is very, very customizable to your needs. I'm going to leave it as every day. And another cool feature that you have here is where should users go after this after the splash page, which basically means that um, once they click on the consent message and they connect, where are the users going to go to what page you can specify a page that you want the users to be redirected to and then once they land on that page they could go anywhere they would like to go on the internet or you can just do the setting of you know what it doesn't really matter whatever page is their default page on the browser send them there 
because that's none of your business, but many organizations for marketing purposes, they use this function. So they bring people over to their local pages. So once you have this information, as you could see, there's not much information that you're going to type here or that you're going to configure. You have the option of clicking preview to have an idea of how that's going to look like. As you could see, welcome to SMS auth, which is the name of the SSID. And then this is the, um, uh, the welcome message that you have. And the consent is going to show when you connect. We don't see it here. But also notice that it is going to prompt the user for their telephone number. So when the user types in the telephone number, they are going to receive an authentication code. And once they receive the authentication code, they are going to have to provide that code to authenticate to the Wi-Fi. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to save the settings. Uh, let me uh, change this to whatever it is. So my settings are saved for this splash page using SMS authentication for Meraki. There is no way for me to show you this live because even if I connect to one of my laptops using um, an Ethernet cable and connect to the Wi-Fi just because I'm connected to the network is going to take that authentication over Ethernet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create that from, I'm, I'm going to connect from, from one of my laptops. I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to bring them over here for you to see what the users are going to see and experience. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to bring up the screenshots over here. Okay, so I am back, and as you could see, I took screenshots of the uh, of of the connections from one of my client computers uh, for you to see what the users will see on their end. And as you can see, this is not anything complicated. It's super simple. The setup just took a couple of minutes. But something to pay attention to right here is that you're going to see join uh, SMS auth. And remember, this is the name of the SSID that you created. And it says welcome to. So I'm sure that you would like to use something better than SMS auth. And as you could see, this is the message that the welcome message that I typed, right? Like welcome, this network is being monitored. Now, this message is part of the Meraki configuration. It's not customizable as far as I know. And it is only explaining to the users that they need to type in their telephone number and that they are going to receive a code. And once they receive the code, they're going to be able to authenticate. So um, let me uh, show you uh, in another screen. So once they type in their telephone number and they click on continue, they're going to receive a code and then this is what they are going to see. Let me uh, change here. So when they receive the code, they automatically go to this other message where they have to type in the six digit code that they received over SMS. And as you could see, we still have the, um, the SSID name up on top. Since we didn't configure the a logo, we're not going to see it here. But if we did, you'd be able to see the logo here on this page. This is our message and this is the um, consent message. Remember that I told you that uh, that's what's going to pop in at another time. So this is where it pops in. And this is very important because uh, if you don't click on the check mark, you are not going to be able to in, to click on sign in. So users must consent to whatever message. And again, this is usually something coming from legal or HR, uh, letting users know that that connection may not be private, so on and so forth. Whatever message you want to display and you want your users to consent, that's what's going to show up here. But once the users type in the code and they consent, 
they're going to connect to uh, their network. And in this case, remember that I configure the SSID in a way that, not the SSID, I configure the splash page in a way that users are going to go to whatever page they want to go to right here. Uh, but if I had selected the option of using a different URL, users would have been redirected to that URL. As you could see, there is a place for SMS authentication. It is very affordable, simple, very simple to use and implement, and you could do it in a matter of minutes. Again, thank you for watching this video. If you liked the content of this video, all I ask you is to click on the like button, consider subscribing to my channel because I always upload new videos with useful information. Lastly, I have a playlist of only Meraki configurations. If you use Meraki and you wanna learn more about configuring and implementing Meraki, you may consider checking those videos as well, as well as the other videos that I have on information and cybersecurity. Thank you for watching again and have an amazing rest of the day. I'll talk to you on the next video.